Hello all. It's another Walkthrough Wednesday, right? Walkthrough Ryan? Wednesday, that's right. We're going to do a little bit different today, though. But still a walkthrough, right? Still a walkthrough, definitely. It's still a walkthrough a deal, right? That's right. We're going to walk you through a, a recent purchase that uh, we made and show you what how we decided what we were going to do with it as far as options, as far as weighing, you know, how we wanted to exit this product, this, this, this actually this property of this project. So, that's what we're doing. I thought he's, yeah, I was, Ryan and I were talking about, oh, do we want to physically want to go to a house today or? Um, it's actually raining outside. It's raining again. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. know. So we're like, so, I don't want to do that. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of walk through this. There's going to be some numbers thrown at you. But uh, I think the end result, you're going to be intrigued by this. Very, and, very uh, intrigued. Ryan probably has a little more experience with this area than I do. I know he does. I, say, I, say, yeah. I think he has a little. He actually has a lot more experience in this area. But I think you guys will... Uh, it's kind of it's just kind of cool how this thing shook out. Yeah, you so. know, I wonder if they can hear us because the camera's a little bit back. So I'm gonna, we're going to project our voices so you, you can hear so? us a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, okay. You think they can hear us over there? I'm pretty sure they can. Okay, yeah. here we go. All right. So we'll just like kind of lay the groundwork here. We'll start at the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, Ryan and I do a lot of networking. Very. We speak at different... Uh, Organizations, you have the meetup here. By the way, that's coming up. Uh, when's the next meetup? It's every, so it's every third Tuesday here in Marysville, and that would be next Tuesday. All right, Tuesday. The do you know what date that is? You know what? I actually don't. Oh, Ryan. I know, huh? Well, what was yesterday? Hang on, guys. Let me pull the thing over. What was yesterday? Today's the fifteenth. Today's right? the fifteenth. So be the twenty-first. Twenty-first. Yeah. Yeah. And what time does that start, Ryan? Six thirty. Six thirty, and that's actually here in Marysville. Yeah. So. And in fact, this particular deal that we're going to talk about. We first met this guy because he came to our meetup. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, came in with his dog. He's like walking in. He's like all cool and his little, little his little like I don't know, wasn't like a, it was like a service dog, but it was like he was, he was there with his dog. So there like, was, that was yeah. cool. Anyway, but he actually approached me. Yeah, and he uh, I think this might have been his very first deal that he did. He's a uh, I don't know if it, is somebody technically a wholesaler if they completed the deal or not. Meaning. I Meaning at the beginning of the deal he wasn't a wholesaler, yeah, yeah, yeah. and by the time the end of the deal he was a wholesaler. So he was I don't know. attempting to wholesale, he was and attempting actually wholesale. he 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 completed he did, that. He became a wholesaler. He was a wholesaler. Yeah, he so he became a wholesaler. Gave him his crown, you know. Yeah. He donned him a you know wholesaler. We took the yeah. scepter out. And <laughs> da, 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 we did all that stuff. Anyway, so he approached me with the deal. He gave yeah. me a phone call, and I said, "Hmm, sounds interesting." So I uh, we went through the process, and uh, somebody made me wonder, "Okay, well he got a, a fee." Yeah, he made right, me a fee. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just we'll go through this. I, I'm going to have to write kind of big. It, did you set that up so they can actually see the information here, Ryan? Uh, or? You know, it depends on you, Randy. Okay, so, we'll have to write really big. So Ryan is going to be in green. Oh, and Randy will be in orange? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So, wholesaler dude comes to the table. Yeah. Gives me a phone call. He says, I have this property. And now it's a community that's about an hour and a half from here. Right. It's a little bit of a drive. So I have some familiar with that community. I've been to that community, but I don't know a great deal about that community. And okay? I've never been to the community. Yeah, he's, well, we're going to find out. He's actually going to be there on Friday. That's what's going to be the end result of all this. So, so also a guy says, 5000 bucks for his fee. Think that's big enough, Mr. Ryan? Yeah, I think I said no problem. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep. And then he said, the purchase price of the property is fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Okay. And then we have that wonderful thing called closing costs. Ooh, ooh is right. And they're approximately three thousand dollars. Yeah. I believe you're probably out of the frame if you go that far back. Yep. Am I out of the frame now too? And now he's gone. So. I'm in charge. Oh, wait, no, okay, I'm back. Well, well, Ryan, I want you. Yeah, this is easy math here. Right? I'm confident you can do this. So, what do we have? What What was the purchase price? I'm going to do with my, with my left hand here. There you go. There it is. Purchase price. What the heck is that, Ryan? <laughs> That's kind of jacked up. I was going to draw a five. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. I'll let you draw the fancy stuff down. Oh, there we go. I was going to draw a line. I'm like, well, I should do a, 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 a dollar sign first. So okay. okay. It's going to be 50. Hey, I'm right like Randy now. Oh, you're so, <laughs> so nice of you. Fifty-eight woo, thousand big ones. All right. I was so left-handed, el izquierdo. Yeah, well, some of us can write left-handed better than others, you know. Anyway. Oh, so, oh all right. Yeah, yeah boo, okay. boo hits. But I was, I was stretching. If I would have turned okay. back to the audience, I would have been able to. Just I was messing around. Anyway, all right. So, so fifty-eight thousand. Fifty-eight thousand. Now. 
This was actually purchased. Yes, all in. Okay. All in, 58 grand. Now, it's how my deals work, I've been, been blessed, and there are people out there, I know some of you find this hard to believe, but there are private party lenders out there that will provide 100% financing. Yeah, at really reasonable rates, like two or 3%, we love these people. Two or three percent. Come on, Brian. <laughs> I know that's better than a bank CD. I'm rate, sure people out there like, oh, I'll be private money. So like two or three, that's right. No. Well, oh, Brian. <laughs> there, there's, if somebody has fifty-eight thousand, I bet they're, I bet they're, they're savvy enough. They're savvy yeah. enough. So yeah. So anyway, well, let's go through this here then. So we have a fifty-eight thousand dollar purchase price. All right. And that private party lender, they, I've been blessed. They don't charge me fees. It's just basically, no points. Here's, here's a check, Randy. I trust you. Here's a you. check. I trust you. Yeah. I'm going to transfer the money over to the title company. Uh, there's no points on it. There's no appraisal. I say this is the deal. Here's the wire transfer information. The title company provides it to this individual. Well, why would they do that? What's their security for like, I mean, you just go to Mexico with their 58 Well, what's their security? Yeah. Their security is the collateral, the property, right? They are entitled. They actually have, well, they're not entitled. You're entitled, but they have a note. They have a note secured, secured by the property. Secured by the property. So if... So and they're in the first position. First the position. So they're the first lead position. So if Randy doesn't pay, guess what? They take the property back. Has it ever happened? No. Ever. But never, do you know never. also this sort of security, Ryan? Tell me. They know we buy undervalued properties. That's right. So, so there's this, tremendous amount of equity in these properties. Yes, there's already equity in this property from day one. So that's part of the beauty of this. Yes. So that's why they feel good about doing it. So if you ask enough people out there, folks, you will probably be able to find a private party lender. We'll do such a deal for if you. If you tell them what you do, you'll find people that want to give you the money. Like, oh, really? Here, take my money. No, it's hard to it believe. Happens. Like, my dentist was asking me. I was like, oh, you want to invest Your in dentist, too, might have asked me, too. Did you really? Yeah, what is it with dentists? I guess they don't like being I dentists. went to my high school reunion, and one of the, my, my classmates was a dentist. He's like, hey, man, if I gave you, like, you know, three quarters of a million dollars, can you give me, like, 15 houses for, like, rental income? I'm like, like I don't know, three quarters of a million, uh, where are you looking at? So yeah, like people like throw any money in this one. It's like I know. crazy. Yeah, well, you know, once you're immersed in the business, that's kind of what yeah. We love that though. So we're gonna go through here. Cause we have to write big enough so you can see it. I think that might be too big. You think so? I think it's, yeah. Okay, I just wanna make sure it's big enough. Yeah, I know. Okay. So then we have $58,000, there's our starting point. Correct? Correct. Okay. Now. Let's show the, the, the amount of the monthly payment. I will tell you my interest rate. Oh, yes. 10, 10%. 10%. 10%. So the lender provides a loan for 58000 and I'm going to get my handy dandy calculator. Hey, you know what? My, my teacher in high school, when he's calculating this, they said, What do you think you're going to do? Walk around the calculator in your life? Well, guess what? Look at this. There we are. Ah. Walk around the calculator in his pocket. Well, I started off with an advocate, so. <laughs> and a slide rule. We did have such things back in the day. No electronic calculators in my my uh, early childhood days, 10%. I know he's gonna figure this out. We can do this. It's $5,800, correct, Ryan? That's amazing. $5,800 what? A year. A year. And what does that come out to a monthly payment? So you divide this by 12. And what do we come up to, Brian? Uh, you don't know? My calculator's over there recording this uh, video. Okay, <laughs> $5,800 divided by 12. So we're looking at a monthly payment of? It's like Four hundred eighty-three dollars and thirty-four cents. Bam, a month. There we go. That's a month. So that's what our monthly payment is. So when this property was purchased, it came with something. What did it come with, Ryan? Oh my gosh, it came with so much stuff. It came with a, um, a grill. It came with a car. Oh no, it came with a tenant. A tenant. A tenant. Of course. Yes. A and tenant. what was it? And what was the tenant paying a month? I think seven. Six. Six eighty. Six eighty a month. Six eighty a month. So if we take his, so we'll call this rent, we've got rent of $680 a month, and our payment, this is the abbreviation for payment, is four, we're just gonna call it 480 for, for to keep it 480 simple. 480 a month, okay. Month. So we, from day one, are cash flowing this thing, $200 a month, if we do absolutely nothing. Are we really though? No, there's taxes and insurance. I th when we're afraid that was about $120 a month. Yeah, so. So why don't you show them the real number, Ryan? All right, so if we have taxes let's, and insurance. Yeah, let's take out that taxes and insurance. About 120 And that leaves us with how much? 80 bucks a month. Okay. Now, now, Daddy ain't happy with 80 bucks a month. I was crying the blues when I heard this one. Well, 80 bucks a month by, I don't know, how many Happy Meals at McDonald's? Well, I got five kids, so it doesn't buy a whole lot. Okay. Well, and, and then we split this thing, so it's $40 for each 40 of 40 
But that's without rent. We can increase his rent. Well, the market rent in that area, I think he is paying low. I think market rent in that area is about 950, maybe 950, 900, somewhere in that range. But we'll just work with the number that we have here. Yeah. So, so at this point, we have a house that we haven't put any money into, which we haven't dig, dug into our pocket for. And we're cash flow positive from day we're one. We're cash flow positive from day one, making right. eighty dollars a month. Yep. And that works out to nine hundred sixty dollars a year. Yep. Is that something to sneeze at? No, it's not that bad. I mean, it, honestly, like. Most like brand new investors, like they're buying buying old properties, are lucky if they can even get a hundred bucks a month in their cash flow portfolio. So this is this is actually not pretty bad. Okay, so what yeah. I'm gonna do here, Ryan, I'm gonna erase this. All right, and we're gonna do. He didn't say he's a racist. He says you're going to erase this. Oh, Ryan, this. come on. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put up here number one. Number one. This is number one strategy, meaning not exit, right? Or well, it it's just a strategy. Just a strategy that we hold in. So we're gonna walk you through this because it's guess what? Walk through Wednesday. Walk through Wednesday is collecting eighty dollars a month. All right, option number one. Door number one. That's option number one. Option. There we go. All right. So Ryan, what what do you think uh, option number two might be? Well, option number two would be to actually fix the place up to sell it. So we're going to fix and flip. Okay. Now, the estimated. The estimated uh, repair costs are about twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. So why don't we show that scenario? So we're gonna have a negative twenty five k. Okay. And we purchased it for how much again? Fifty eight thousand. Fifty eight thousand. So we're gonna go fifty eight thousand. And we can sell it. Market ARB in yeah. the business. You know, Ryan, I'm gonna tell just a quick story here. All right. You know, I was flipping houses for about ten years. I go to a meetup. People are talking ARB. I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. <laughs> Here I am, flipping houses like ARB. It's like ARB. Anyway, after resale value, right? After repair after value. After repair value. So yeah. I still can't get it right. Same thing. Well, the resale value, yeah, yeah. after repair value. After repair value. Yeah. So yeah. the ARB on this particular property is between 130 and 140,000. So we're going to say it's going to be 135? 135. We'll split right. the difference. So we're going to go up here, 135. Okay. And then we have some. Some holding costs, and we have some closing costs, and things like yeah. that. Yeah, realtor fees, things like yeah, that. Yeah, they would have come in. No, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll just do a quick calculation on that. Um, let me see here. We got uh, one thirty-five, and it's based on the resale value too. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say roughly about ten thousand dollars. We'll just call it ten grand. We'll call it ten grand even. Sounds great. So what is that gonna leave with us, Ryan? So it's gonna leave us with. Well, not a whole lot, Randy. It's gonna leave us with uh, forty-two thousand dollars. Forty-two thousand? Double check my math, though. I will. I'm doing this all a la cabeza. Oh. All in my mind know. here. And you haven't been particularly sharp today, so I'm a little concerned. Uh oh, look at it dropping the pens. There so we 135. go. Then got minus twenty, minus fifty-eight. Oh, it's, no, it's gonna be less than that. Minus ten. Oh, I think you came. No, up. I think it's around the money. Right. Forty-two thousand dollars. Confirm. Okay. Well, no, I did that, guys. I'll show you real quick. This is my this is my common oh, core math. Sorry. I got thirty-five here. I got twenty-five and a ten. I'm gonna combine that, wipe that out, and I got a hundred minus fifty-eight. There you well, go. Well, fifty and fifty is a hundred, so I got that one. So fifty minus eight is forty-two. That's how I there did it. Go. So, so I get a star for that guy. Woo! Look at that. Way to go, Ryan. So. Fix and flip is forty-two thousand dollars profit. All right, so fix and flip off avenue forty-two grand, forty-two thousand dollars in a boleto or a pocket. There you go. Yeah. All right, and that's after like how many? Maybe what? Three uh, months? Four months? I hope not four months. Well, we had a tenant in there. You have to give him a sixty-day oh, notice. Oh snap! Got yeah, that. that's right. If somebody's sixty-day notice. And how long is that tenant in there for? More than a year. More so than a year, 10 years. Yeah, if it's less than a year, it's a 30 day notice. At least in California. In California, that is, yeah. yeah. We've got guys all over the place watching this stuff. But if it's, yeah, if it's more than a year, it's 60 days. Ouch. Yeah, so we'd have to wait 60 days to do the renovation. That's right. And then we, after that, tenant goes bye bye. And then we're in 30 to 60 days to actually finish the renovation and sell it. $42,000 is nothing to sneeze at either. It's a, it's a oh, right. day. Some people like we'll that. split that 21 ham. No, 20 ham, 22. No, wait. Oh, right. my math is going bad again. Going good, yeah. yeah, 21 grand a piece. Yeah. We have some time into it, hour and a half drive, uh, monitoring the project, making sure, you know, so there's some houses. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's, that's kind of like 90 minutes away. It's like, ah, we're gonna get, are we going to pay our crews here to go over that way? Are we going to hire new crews out there that we don't know? It just, you run into some issues there. So what do, you, what do you think number three choice might be? You know what? 
I don't really know. I, I thought that these were our only options. You have we have other options. You got an ace up your sleeve? Well, no, we got we can sell it as is. Oh, there we go, as is. As is, do an as is sale. So since you're Mr. Sharp on the math, let's go through this. All right. Now we talked about an ARV earlier, after repair value. That's right. We're actually gonna now talk about just as is. As is. What is the as is value? I think you told me eighty nine or well, something. We had I I was Communicating with two different realtors. That's right. And I had prices anywhere from eighty thousand mm -hmm. to a hundred thousand. So we took ninety middle of the road. Let's take ninety. Let's take a middle of the road choice. You want to write as is? We'll write that as a choice. As is. As is. Sale. Okay. Okay. And so we're splitting the difference. Yeah. Ninety thousand, right? Ninety thousand. So okay. So let's do. Uh, so fifty-eight so minus ninety. That's thirty-two thousand. Why isn't it ninety minus fifty-eight? Well, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not negative money. No, that's positive right. Money, positive right? money. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We don't so what's ninety? Ninety minus fifty-eight is thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Plus yeah. some fees. True. We have. We're gonna have some closing costs. So it might, it might actually have to have a realtor involved too. We might. So. So you let's, think it's let's, 10, let's just yeah let's let's do let's just say ninety. Okay, ninety. Ninety k. Minus the 58. 58. And we're probably going to be somewhere about maybe $8,000 in fees. Sure. Okay. How does that come up to you, Ryan? Well, now <clears throat> 26000 26, does it really I, get that I, I, low? I'm thinking that's what that is, right? Oh, what's 90 <clears throat> minus, oh, I guess that's 32 minus 8. Yeah. Oh no, that's twenty. That's twenty four thousand. Oh, there, Mister oh, Math. Okay. Twenty four thousand. So let's let's. I guess it's twenty four k going that route. So, but we can do it right now tomorrow. Like, hey, you get twenty four thousand dollars. Don't have to worry about you know an extra four months for you know travel time, hiring a crew, all that stuff. You know, an extra twenty grand for just you know four months. I'd rather take my money now. Do you think so? Today's profit. You mean with the twenty four k? Yeah. Yeah, sounds like a great opportunity. Okay, well, then let's put that there. With the, yeah. but we're gonna put twenty four k as this option. Twenty four k. All right, is that all of our options? Are we done? So we had, we had to roll a dice on this one. What's what we're gonna do? I'm I'm leaning towards this. Randy, I don't know. He likes to get his hammer out and go pan. You know, hang up some boards and windows and everything. Well, else. well, let's think about it. Here's a concept, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this out at you. Okay, catch it. There we go. So, you know, some ways of looking at these projects is like, okay, here's some dollar amounts here. And we also can look at things another way. It's like my time and energy that I put mm -hmm. forth into this project. Yeah. It's like, how much am I making per hour? So, it's hard to say. This one, I think, is this one for sure, you're making a lot more per hour than, than, than you would on that. Right. So, the amount that arrives in my pocket is going to be less than up here, but from an opportunity cost of my time, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna make more per hour over here than I am over here. That's true, that's true. So that's something to keep in mind when you work on your projects. Would you agree with that, right? I would agree. Okay. Yep. So I know he's chopping up the bit for option number four. Because this is kinda like what? his wife property. I know, right? So all right, little technical difficulty right there, but we're gonna come back here and we have option number four. This is the best of both worlds? worlds? Three worlds? Actually, all three worlds. It's the best of all three of these things here. We're going to call this one seller financing. But Ryan. Yes. Do we have any of the money that we're seller financing or using someone else's money? No, we're using everyone else's money, man. OPM. Other people's money. Oh, okay. Yeah, so all right. we're, we're actually providing the loan for the person that would want to buy this one, but we have absolutely none of our own capital in this one at all. Okay. So um, we're going to be selling this one for $89,000. And how do we come up with $89,000? It's just a number we randomly picked out of the uh, sky. Sort of. Well, well I actually remember earlier when we said about as is sale. Yep. We said we have prices between $80,000 and $100,000. There we go. So eighty nine dollars is kind of somewhere in between. It's isn't right it? there, smack in the middle. Yeah. Right. yeah. And so a little bit of marketing strategy here. Well, it's not do $90,000 because. I don't know. They see the nine in the first character position. They're yeah, going to freak, freak out. out. Yeah. So that's why it's even A little psychology going on there. Okay. So did we find a buyer for this property? We actually did. And okay. how did we find that buyer? Well, we did a total of not one, but two. Not two one, posts. guys, but two. Two posts. One post to uh, social media, Facebook. And then okay. know, is Craigslist considered social media? No, because you're not communicating back and forth. Okay. So we had a, a posting on Craigslist yep. and posting on Facebook. 
I said, okay, here's a property, this is possible seller right. financing. I put it there. Possible seller oh, financing. I didn't even know that. I never even saw that ad. So yeah, there we go. We'll see you put it in there. It's like possible. So I've had several people financing. contact me, and then they say it's for sale. And they say, is it for rent? I'm sure if you post things like it's for rent. Yeah. Well, well, guess what? This guy here navigated the system. He did. Yeah. yeah. So but there's nothing. There was something special about this buyer, though. <gasps> oh, that's right. This guy. He was actually really, really cool. He did not speak English. He spoke sort of English. He's, yeah, he spoke meteor, meteor Kind of English. enough to communicate with me. Yeah. I have now. He's I'm, on the same level as me when it comes to English. Yeah. <laughs> so they say. Oh. Well, I have limited Spanish skills. I do speak some. This gentleman speaks a whole bunch of Spanish. A whole bunch of now, Spanish. Now, the, the buyer, he speaks enough English to have a conversation. But what we're dealing with real estate is kind of highly technical. So what I did, Very I, technical. I pushed over this gentleman here because we're going to be dealing with a lot of contracts and paperwork yeah. and making sure. Things are very clear and he understands. It's and very, it's, very important. Now, I, I, I have been blessed. I, I lived out of the country for a couple of years and I picked up Spanish, so I am fluent in Spanish. I also can, I can read it and I can write it. But just because I speak Spanish doesn't necessarily mean that I am fluent enough in the technicalities when it comes to taking out a hypotheca or a mortgage. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but when I, I used to live in Phoenix as a mortgage loan originator and I worked the phone rooms in a Spanish call center for two, almost two years, about 18 months. And I sat next to this little Puerto Rican dude that was like brrr, like an Uzi for a mouthpiece. I mean, he was just talking as fast as he possibly could. Picked up a lot of the slang and a lot of the um, mortgage, real estate lingo that I needed to know. And so that's where I got And hey, what did I ask you, Ryan? I said, yeah, that's are right. I said, are you, do you, are you comfortable with speaking Spanish with us and knowing the technical words? And guess what I said? I said, C. Si. There he goes. And I said, okay, that means yes. Just, that's okay. right. It's not the letter C, but the yeah. C. Yeah, there we go. So I felt comfortable. You yeah. were able to communicate with him. Yeah, I actually communicated with him via uh, talking to him on the phone voice. And I explained exactly what the situation was. But also, just in case there was any error in translation, I wanted to text him as well in Spanish because I can write it fluently. And I, and I, and I spill it all out. And he's like, estamos bien, Can't, you know, we're, we're good to go, everything's fine. And so, yeah, we're real What are you doing with that man? Estamos bien? Oh, absolutely. Estamos bien. Yes. Anyway, there we go. So what did, what did he say he's going to bring to the table? So when we do a seller financing transaction, you have to have two major uh, components. You have to, one, have the ability to have a down payment, and two, the ability to make the monthly payment. So I said, hey, we're looking at um, a down payment. Uh, we were between 25, right? Do 20 well, and 25 he thousand. Me. He said he had between 20 and 25 thousand. That's right. So we settled on 20 thousand. So we have twenty thousand dollars. We're just going to draw an arrow there. Twenty thousand dollars down, and that's going to leave us with our remaining balance of sixty-nine thousand dollars. So we're going to finance for this guy sixty-nine thousand dollars. Not there, bad. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And then we agreed on a monthly payment as well. Well, we actually haven't f uh, formally agreed on the monthly payment. Well, what did you discuss with him? Yeah, I discussed with him a range between eight hundred and eight hundred and fifty. And naturally, I'm leaning towards eight fifty as the seller, and him as the buyer. He's naturally leaning towards the eight hundred as the the buyer. So, what do you think we're going to present? So, what do you guys think? Just split the difference. Let's, oh, let's go That's ahead. right. So let's go. The part of the deal is eight hundred and twenty five dollars a month for rent, correct? That's right. Now, my question for you, Ryan, is eight hundred twenty five dollars a month. Is this also covering property taxes and insurance on the property? Well, we call that PITI, principal interest on the on the loan that we're giving them for sixty nine thousand plus taxes and insurance. So yes, it does include so we're, all of we're those. covering that. So yes. so another possible deal would have been, hey, you pay us eight twenty five a month, but you're also taking care of the insurance and the taxes. Correct. But we're deciding to take care of those for what reason? Um, it's just a better deal all the way around. Okay. Yeah. Now. He is coming with twenty thousand dollars down, but he's also below market rent. Yeah, because yeah. below market rent would be like nine fifty. Nine fifty. So, but we run into an issue when we're financing such a small amount of money that either you're going to have to shorten the term in order to, to boost up the payment, or you're going to have to, uh, which does which has actually an, an issue here. Let me see that orange one. Not to get too technical, but if you remember, we bought this for fifty eight thousand dollars, right? So. It's only a difference of eleven thousand dollars in equity. Call it equity here. So, if we have a shorter term where they're paying down more principal monthly than they actually are, then um, we could run into an issue where they're actually paying down more of this eleven thousand dollars than we are accelerating our 
$58,000, which means that we'd either have to come out of pocket and accelerate that down, or if it's very technical as far as like what our options are when it comes to doing this stuff. Except now what happened? He said he felt he could pay this off in what length of time? He told us, he, he volunteered this information. Oh, I'm gonna pay this off in three years. Maybe less, but definitely three years. So he's gonna pay off in three years. In so, three years. So but I, you probably can mark that similar, pay off in three years. Yeah, so we'll just go, um, three year, we'll call it a balloon. Okay. Actually, it's not technically a balloon. There is no balloon on this one. We'll just call it three-year payoff. Okay. Now, Ryan, something from our conversation earlier. Yeah. We have to pay to the private party lender. Oh, per month. man, so we do. Much, so how much is that? So we just said we're going to round it up to eight, $480 a month. So okay. if we look at this here, we have, you know, um, $480, 20 plus 300 So we're at three. 45 a month. And we haven't even taken out the uh, insurance and the taxes yet. Correct. So yeah, yeah. Those, those, 20, are, those are estimated about $120 a month. So we're looking at 225 a month. Do you like that number, Ryan? It's not a bad number at all. Do you like that number? That's a good number. For doing absolutely nothing. I mean, we, okay, you want more? I want more, Ryan. Okay, how much more do you want? You know, I think, well, how would we go about getting more? Well, we'd have to go back and renegotiate with this guy. What, for a higher month? Maybe not. Yeah. I can think of another way. Oh, wait, what? How? Well, okay. i got to get this over to this guy now. Okay, so here's the deal. When you borrow from a private party lender, uh, they're going to give you the, the money. Well, we flip houses. That's so right. So we are flipping houses. And they'll flip after four months. The private party lender gets their money back. That's right. And then they, the money goes back to the account. And then they sit by the phone. <laughs> like, it's like, Randy, why don't you call me? Anymore? Please call me. Take another loan. You know, Ray, you know, call. Call. I'm not making any money. I'm not making any money right now. Please call me. Please borrow some money. Well, we have a solution for that. Oh. We say private party lender. How about if you give me a lower interest rate? Oh. Hmm. But I have guaranteed income for a length of time. And this particular lender, I said, how about that we lower the interest rate by 2%. But I'm guaranteed to pay you for next three years. You can have three years worth of income oh. at, a, at a great interest rate. And of course, they said no, right? No. Oh, wow. They said, I like that deal. I like that deal. That's 8% that's for three years. And they're like, can we do more like this, please? Let's do more. That's absolutely correct. Because this, this is their income they got off this. So Check they went out. from a 40 a month payment down to, I think it was 386 a month, Ryan. 386. So we basically, we'll just call it 380. We just no, gained. No, yeah, we'll just do it We just gained 100 dollars a month in cash flow. So now we're down to what? An extra 50 a piece. So we're now at three. Well, let's go ahead and correct that, Ryan. 325. 325 a month. Okay. That's an even better number now. I think so. Yeah. That's so once again, right? I'm going to ask the question. I'm going to ask this again. How much money do we have into this deal? Zero. That's true. Absolutely nothing. Well, I got a little gas money. Oh, Randy has gas. I gas money and a lunch. And a lunch. That's yeah. what I have into. It, Shoot. So. And we're going to get a little bit more gas on Friday when we go collect our payday. Yeah, there we go. What's well, he supposedly? Do you think he's going to show? I, now, my curiosity. Yeah. Do you think we're going to have cash? No, he's actually going to have a cash, cashier's check. I, so I, I spoke to him specifically about this. I said, you know what? You're more than welcome to bring cash with you. I don't know how comfortable you are counting out $20,000 on the hood of our car. You might want to bring a cashier's check for security purposes. No problem. I'll bring you a cashier's check. It's more seguro, is what he said. Well, good. Yes. Good. So we're going to kind of walk through this. I'm going to walk through a little more numbers here. Go for it. I know you guys like numbers, more numbers. Yes. Well, we like to see. You're awake. <laughs> if they're really into this, they wouldn't have to make money. They're awake. They're popcorn they're or eating. Yeah, there we go. Now. Okay. So we have uh, a few components to this deal from a profit standpoint. Yes, we do. We can, I hope we can see it over here. Do you think the camera is able to see it over here? Yes, right? yeah, Okay. It. So we start off with $20,000, right? That's right. The down payment, correct? That's right. Now, we have a total. How many payments is he going to make to us? 36. 36. He's going to yep. make 36. Actually, I'm going to there. 36 times. We figured out 325. 325, yes. What does that come out to, Ryan? That I can't tell you. <laughs> well, I'm going to get my calculator out here. 36 times 325, right? Yep. 
So we're looking at 11,700. 11, 7. 11,700. So we have 11,700 there, right? Mm -hmm. And then what? We get something else too. Do we get another kicker at the end of the deal? We do have a little bit of equity, depends on how much he decides to buy down, but that equity is ours, so we get that no matter so what. So it's going to be another $11,000. Yeah. Now we don't know how much 11000 is going to come out of this as far as principal during this, this buy down. Well, we don't think there's going to be any principal. In three years? No. Well, he's not doing interest only with us. Uh, he is doing interest only. That was my understanding. Oh, no, no, no. He's doing principal. This is P-I-T-I, principal interest taxes oh, and insurance. Oh, I thought this was coming. Oh, no. yeah. I mean, maybe we need to rediscuss this a little bit. I don't know if the guy's going to go for that. because it's, it's a seller finance deal. So, okay, well, yeah. we're going to have to figure that one out. But still, we're getting paid. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, we're getting paid. Yeah, this so, 11K is I would call it, you know, I think... I think it's generous to say that he's going to pay down two thousand dollars of this. So if you want nine there, I think that's more than conservative. Okay, we'll put nine there. Yeah, okay. or more than we'll put nine there. there. All right. So, so what, I go through this number here. We start with the twenty thousand. Right? Why he's doing that? You're probably wondering. Well, how's it? You know, how you figure this out? We're amortizing this over thirty years anyway. With the pay, with the fact that he's going to pay it off in three years. So when you amortize something over thirty years, it's all front loaded interest anyway. So about what year seven? Twenty three. Well, seven years left. until seven years. Until yeah. year seven, right? Seven years, seven years oh, left on the note. Oh, wow. 23 years to get to equal balance between principal and interest payments. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's, these banks are they're making tons of money. So 20000 plus we have 11700 Yep. Plus another 9000 So we come out to 40700 Whoa, check that out. Now, if we were going to fix and flip it, we would make $42,000. All the time, the hassle, driving back and forth, and all that stuff. Yeah, you're gonna get a forty-two thousand dollars a lot faster, but if we do it this way, we get a, a bump of twenty thousand dollars right now today, plus monthly cash flow. Which hey, that's not too bad. Eleven thousand seven hundred. I think that's a decent number. Yeah, you know, three hundred bucks a right. month. I mean, what could you do with three hundred bucks a month? I can do a lot. Me too. For some people, that's a car payment. It is. It's more than a car payment. There you go. And then the bump at the end, you're gonna get this equity. Now, here's the cool thing about it. If he, I didn't tell I you guys. I want to hear this. Yeah, I, hear this. I didn't tell this to Randy. So. If he decides that he's going to do lump sum payments, instead of waiting until you know year year three and coming to the table with like boom, it's changed all, all the money, I'm guaranteeing it that he's probably going to make some extra payments along the way, like two grand here, right. five grand there. So guess what happens? This um, this equity that we are going to be getting is eleven thousand dollars. We get paid first, so that goes right into our pocket first before we decide to do any kind of principal reduction to the note on that particular property. So hey, did you discuss our prepayment penalty? With them? No, I did not. Is that something you think we should discuss on? Because do you know what the problem is? Because your lender is expecting- My, my lender is expecting three years. That's yeah. why That's why they, the lender gave me- So I will, I will put that in the clause of the contract okay. that there's, you know, you can't pay it off any, you can accelerate the payment, but you cannot pay it off in full in three well, years. Well, we can give them a, a prepayment penalty. We could. We could yeah, and it, how, how will we calculate that? Just the point. Well, no. We percentage? Could, well, we calculate what... But we would have had... Yeah, right, it's going to be well, the, we would have earned on the 2%, exactly. the 2 difference. So yeah. that would be the prepayment penalty. There we go. We can do it this way. Anyway, but now, I'm going to erase this. You think everyone's got, got this dialed in so Screenshot far? this one right now, guys. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is, this is is the crazy part here. Uh-oh. I thought we already were crazy. No, 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 no. This this is like... Well, why, why, does some, why would some guy on Facebook... Want to do this deal with us? Yeah, why would he want to do that? He's like, you know, that guy's paying probably, he's paying like 14% interest or something. Or what, whatever he's paying. I don't <laughs> not know. Quite that high, not quite that uh, high. But is, is he not paying above market interest rate? He definitely is. He is. Yes. yes. So, oh. that's kind of like, well, why would he do that? Well, why well, well, why would he do that, Randy? Why would you do that? Why would I? Well, if there's a if, if there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, yes. and this is the way to get the pot of gold, I would do it in a heartbeat. I would, I would too. Yeah, this is one thing I'm going to just kind of point out as an investor. I go to a lot of mean stuff and people say, well, geez, 12%? That's crazy. I can go get a loan for, what, I don't know, four and a quarter right now? Something four and a half crazy, percent yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, you can do that. Maybe. I don't know if this guy's capable of doing that or not. We don't know. Like, we don't, do we care? We don't care. We don't make Are any we judgments. Are we doing a credit application from him? Uh, no, we're not. So well, most Why not? Well, because we don't have to. Well, why don't we have to? Because we are the bank. We make the own, our, our own terms. Well, what happens if he walks? And unfortunately, we keep his twenty grand. Is that how it works? It is. So we're kind of covered. We are definitely covered. So we're yeah. not nervous about this at all, then. No, man, let him walk. You know what? He's I hope doing? he doesn't. But if he does, hey, I'm well, cool. but maybe. Well, do you know what's cool about what he's going to be doing? What's he going to be doing? He's going to be fixing the house up. Oh my gosh! So, so, so we could possibly get a house with a new roof on it and everything else. We can actually right? sell it for more if he does walk. 
oh and get God. a larger down payment. So are we hoping he walks? No, we never hope that. that he walks. But if he does, we're not scared. We don't, we're not like losing sleep at night if he does walk. Well, so this guy here. But here's his upside. This is why someone like this would do this. Yeah, so he's coming at 89000 right? Yep. And he's going to probably put, now he's going to do a lot of sweat equity. Yes, he will be. So I think from a material cost standpoint, he's probably going to be into this thing about 12000 bucks. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. On top of the twenty, he's already invested. Right. But I'm just going to do it this way. That's fine. Yeah, we're okay. going to so, do the opposite. So right he here. essentially has a hundred, a hundred one thousand into the house. Does that come up to hundred one? Yeah. Is that what it works out to? Yep. So this is his purchase price for the house for a rehab house. Yes. Okay. And, and what did we say? Purchase this, pro, pro, price, price plus, plus repairs. repairs. Okay. Yeah. And what did we say if we flipped the house? What did we feel it'd be worth between one thirty and one forty? Yeah. Right? So one thirty five was a conservative number. Okay. So we have one thirty five. A R B. Right. That's today. That's today. We don't know what's going to happen. We three don't years know what's going to happen three years from now. It could go up. It and might it stay flat. Down. It might go down. So. So, so he's at one hundred one. Yep. Got the 135, so he actually has how much? Thirty-four thousand dollars. That's right. And he still has his original twenty, right? That's right. His original twenty is built into the house. That's right. So he's actually more than. So he has fifty-four thousand dollars plus whatever he's bought down. So he's more than doubled his money. Oh, easy. Definitely. Yeah. And he has a place to live. Yes. And he would have had to pay rent somewhere else anyway, That's right? That's right. Yep. And after three years, if you just rented a place, how much would he walk away with? Nothing. Nothing. So all the money that he's put into this house, whether it's by a down payment, whether it's a monthly payment, or whether it's investing into the, the structure of repairing the house, all goes directly into his bottom line, his profit, his pocket. Yeah. It's a great deal for the guy. Yeah, he's excited about probably the only person that's kind of is a renter. Yeah, unfortunately, this renter's been there for 10 years. He's been paying under market for 10 years. It is what it is, unfortunately, in this business. Um, whether we would have bought it or someone else would have bought it, the renter eventually would have had to move out anyway. In fact, if we were going to rehab it, he would have had to move out for, in order for us That's to right, rehab it. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 it's just, unfortunately, it's a, it's, it's a cost of doing business. So. Well, guys, I don't know. What do you think about all this, Ryan? I think this is fantastic, Randy. Yeah. I mean, before, before we went through these options, I mean, what were you, before we actually talk about option number four, which option were you leaning towards the most? I've probably been towards the, the flipping. The flipping. Or, or the as is. It wasn't about keeping it for 80 bucks a month. No, no, no definitely not. Never would have done that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the possibility, we could have gone back to the renter, raised the rents maybe. Uh, no, I'm not real happy but about it, that. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any money into it, and you make yeah. a little bit of money, but the, 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 the better game was to either flip it or, sell or, it. or to sell it as is. Sell it as is. But then we talked about seller financing because I'm doing this on another one of my properties and we're like, hey, why don't we do that with this Clear Lake one? And it's actually turned out to be quite a winner. I think we're going to do fine with it. I, think I like it. Very well. I like it. So, so what's today again? Today's Walkthrough Wednesday. So what do we do? We just walked you through an exact deal that we bought and are now going to be closing on this coming Friday. There we go. So yeah. um, if you want to get a hold of me, my name is Randy Just. My number is 530-812-5143. Once again, that's 530 530- Eight one two five one four three. This gentleman here, his name is Ryan Nickel. And, Ryan Nickel, and he has this little thing. That I love to hear this thing because he actually is speaking the truth. When this he is so true, guys. Yeah, and what what is it that? that he's so, I am I'm the founder of Bootstrap REI, and we believe that you're just one deal away from changing your entire financial future. What if this was your one deal? You're gonna no money into it, collect immediately a twenty thousand dollar payday plus three hundred and twenty five dollars a month, and then some future payday as well. How would that change your life? For I mean, some people I know it changes dramatically. It's life changing. My very first check when I got into this business was twenty grand, and I didn't have three hundred dollars a month in cash flow. I only had one hundred and twenty-five dollars a month in cash flow. But that was life changing for me back then. So that's what we tell you. You're just one deal away from changing your entire financial future for the better. So if you want to get a hold of Randy, he's great at what he does. If you want to get a hold of me, I'm great at what I do. We'd love to be a resource to you and help you any way we can. Hey, peace out, guys. That's right. I'm going close this thing off. Oh, I wasn't recording again. Crap. Oh, no, Ryan. Just kidding. <laughs>